Bananas are indeed a beloved fruit around the world, thriving in tropical and subtropical climates. They are primarily cultivated in countries like India, China, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Brazil. The versatility of bananas makes them a staple in many diets, used in everything from breakfast smoothies to baked goats. Plus, they're packed with nutrients like potassium and vitamin C, making them a healthy choice. Do you have a favorite way to enjoy bananas? The journey of a banana from a young plant to your table is fascinating and involves several key stages occurring in regions around the world. Here's a brief overview. Bananas thrive in tropical areas with warm temperatures and ample rainfall. Major producers include India, China, the Philippines, Brazil, and Ecuador. Farmers typically plant banana suckers or tissue-cultured plants. These young plants take about 9 to 12 months to mature. The banana plant develops a large pseudostin and produces a flowering stalk. After flowering, bananas form in bunches, with each bunch containing multiple hands. The consumer market for bananas involves several crucial stages, each requiring expertise from various professionals. Here's a breakdown of those stages and the expertise involved. Farmers typically plant bananas with a spacing of 2 to 3 meters between each plant. This spacing is essential for several reasons. Adequate spacing allows each plant to access essential nutrients in the soil without competing with neighboring plants. Placing saplings about 30 centimeters deep in the soil helps anchor the plant securely, ensuring stability as it grows. This depth also allows the roots to access moisture and nutrients from deeper soil layers. Additionally, deeper planting can promote healthier root development, as the roots are more likely to grow downward and establish a robust network. This can enhance the sapling's resilience to environmental stresses, such as wine or drought, must remove diseased or dead leaves to prevent the spread of disease and enhance the overall health of the plant. By clearing away affected foliage, farmers can reduce the risk of pathogens spreading to healthy parts of the plant or to neighboring plants. This practice also improves air circulation around the plant, which can help reduce humidity levels that favor disease development. Additionally, removing dead leaves allows the plant to direct more energy towards new growth and fruit production, ultimately leading to better yields. Farmers cover the banana bunches with protective materials, such as blue or green bags, to shield them from pests and diseases. This covering helps maintain the quality of the fruit by preventing damage from insects and minimizing exposure to harsh weather conditions. Additionally, it can help regulate moisture and reduce the risk of fungal infections. As a result, the plants can focus more on photosynthesis and energy production, leading to healthier flowers and ultimately more robust banana growth. Dags to protect the young fruit from insect attacks while maintaining an even temperature inside. This controlled environment helps create optimal conditions for the bananas to develop, shielding them from pests and extreme weather. The bags also reduce direct sunlight exposure, preventing sunburn on the fruit and ensuring more consistent ripening. Overall, this practice enhances fruit quality and boosts yields, allowing farmers to harvest healthier and more marketable bananas. The plastic bag is crucial for the color and development of the fruit. They also remove excess moisture, which can help prevent fungal diseases and rot. By creating a stable environment, the bags encourage uniform ripening and help the bananas develop their characteristic color and flavor. Additionally, this protection minimizes physical damage, ensuring that the fruit remains intact until harvest. Overall, using these bags contributes significantly to the quality and marketability of the bananas. Bunch, making maintenance easier, this promotes strong plant growth and maximizes fruit yield by allowing better access for pruning, pest control, and harvesting. With the fruit well supported and spaced, the plant can focus its energy on developing robust roots and healthy foliage. Additionally, this organization helps ensure that each banana bunch receives adequate sunlight and air circulation, further enhancing growth and overall fruit quality. As a result, Farmers can achieve higher yields and healthier crops with less effort. Portions for easier packing, they ensure that each tray meets the required weight, which streamlines the packing process and maintains consistency in product quality. This step is crucial for meeting market standards and customer expectations, as uniform weight and size improve the appeal of the bananas. 
By organizing the fruit in this way, farmers can optimize storage and transportation, reducing waste and ensuring that their products reach consumers in the best possible condition. This efficiency ultimately contributes to better profitability for the farmers. At a temperature of 13 to 14 degrees Celsius, ensuring they stay fresh until they reach international markets. This controlled temperature helps slow down the ripening process, preserving the quality and flavor of the bananas during transit. Maintaining this cool environment reduces the risk of spoilage and extends shelf life, allowing the fruit to arrive in optimal condition for consumers. Proper temperature management is essential for maximizing the marketability of bananas and ensuring that they meet international quality standards. To extend their life, frying all removes some of the water from the bananas and gelatinizes the starch, creating a crispy texture while enhancing flavor. This process helps preserve the fruit, making it less prone to spoilage compared to fresh bananas. The heat also imparts a golden color and rich taste, making fried bananas a popular snack. By reducing moisture content, frying increases shelf life, allowing them to be enjoyed it over a longer period. Once the fried banana is cool, a conveyor belt moves the slices to a seasoning mixer. In this step, the bananas are evenly coated with various seasonings, such as salt, sugar, or spices, enhancing their flavor profile. The mixer ensures that each slice gets the right amount of seasoning, contributing to a consistent taste throughout the batch. This process not only adds flavor, but also makes the fried bananas more appealing to consumers, readying them for packaging and distribution. One type is peeled from the inner bark, which is known as banana fiber. This fiber is strong, durable, and often used in textiles, paper, and handicrafts. The second type of banana fiber comes from the pseudostems, which are the tall, leafy structures of the banana plant. This fiber is coarser and is typically used for making ropes, mats, and other sturdy products. Both types of banana fibers are eco-friendly and biodegradable, making them valuable resources in sustainable manufacturing. Fabric, the second type of banana fiber, is coarser and is peeled from the outer layers of the pseudostem. This fiber is often used for making ropes, mats, and other durable products due to its strength. It's also increasingly being utilized in eco-friendly textiles and crafts. Both types of banana fibers contribute to sustainable practices by providing biodegradable alternatives to synthetic materials, showcasing the versatility of the banana plant beyond its fruit. Bark of the banana stem. Banana fiber feels soft but is as strong as rope. It is also highly absorbent and breathable. This makes it suitable for a variety of applications, including textiles, paper products, and handicrafts. Additionally, banana fiber has natural antibacterial properties, which can enhance its appeal in products like clothing and home goods. Its eco-friendly nature and versatility make it a valuable resource in sustainable manufacturing. For global food security, but have you ever wondered just how they are cultivated and processed? The journey of bananas from farm to table involves meticulous care in planting, maintaining, and harvesting. Farmers focus on sustainable practices to ensure healthy crops while minimizing environmental impact. Once harvested, bananas go through careful handling, transportation, and processing to maintain quality and freshness. Understanding these processes highlights the importance of bananas not only as a staple food, but also as a significant economic resource for many communities worldwide. Countries account for around 85% of global palm oil production, primarily Indonesia and Malaysia. The palm oil production process begins with planting all palm trees, which take about three to four years to mature. Once the trees are ready, the fruit bunches are harvested and processed. The harvested fruit is then sterilized to prevent fermentation, followed by a process of threshing to separate the fruit from the bunches. The fruit is then pressed to extract crude palm oil, which can be refined further to remove impurities and improve quality.
The production process also involves managing the land sustainably to minimize environmental impacts, such as deforestation and habitat destruction. Efforts are being made in some regions to adopt more responsible practices, including certifications like our SP Roundtable on Sustainable Palm Oil, which promotes sustainable palm oil production and help ensure that the industry contributes positively to global food security while protecting ecosystems. Usually harvest tall palm trees when they reach three years of age. The productive life cycle of a palm tree typically spans about 20 to 30 years. During this time, the trees can yield fruit bunches multiple times a year, with peak production occurring between the 7th and 18th years. After this peak period, production may gradually decline, but with proper management and care, the trees can continue to produce for many years. Regular maintenance, including pruning and fertilization, is essential to maintain healthy trees and maximize yield. Ultimately, sustainable practices in harvesting and replanting are crucial to ensure the longevity of palm oil plantations while minimizing environmental impacts. Can last anywhere from 25 to 30 years, optimal conditions. All palm tree productivity is highest during the first 15 years, where trees can yield significant quantities of fruit. After this peak period, production may gradually decline, but well-managed trees can still provide a reasonable yield for several more years. To maintain productivity, it's essential to implement good agricultural practices, including proper fertilization, pest control, and regular harvesting. Sustainable practices also help ensure that all palm cultivation remains viable and minimizes environmental impacts, such as deforestation and habitat loss. Palm trees in Indonesia and Malaysia can yield an average of 18 to 30 tons per hectare each year. This high productivity makes all palm one of the most efficient all producing crops globally. Factors such as soil quality, climate, and agricultural practices significantly influence these yields. Farmers often implement techniques like proper fertilization, pest management, and timely harvesting to maximize output. Sustainable practices are also increasingly important to balance productivity with environmental conservation, helping to ensure the long-term viability of all palm cultivation.